We've been in business uh, over 130 years now. We're still family owned and family run, but it's a family business in a, in a wider sense. We have many families working in the factory, sometimes three or four generations of the same family. That's something that goes a little bit deeper than just having a job, I think. There is something a bit more personal about a nice English welted shoe. And there is something quite appealing about the idea of being able to prolong their life or rejuvenate them with a the repair. By the time you put new leather soles on, the shoes will have already moulded to the shape of your feet. If anything, from a comfort point of view, shoes might well be better after they've been repaired. When a pair of shoes is returned to us for repair, the first thing we do, we log them into the system. So we know if that customer contacts us, we know where they are, what we're doing to them and so on. One thing that is worth mentioning about having leather soled shoes repaired is it's really important to have them repaired in good time. When the sole starts to feel thin and a bit papery, that's the time it really needs doing. If you leave it until there's actually a hole in the sole, then it may be too late. One of the things that we can do that a typical high street shoe repair shop can't do, it will not only be remade on, on its original last, but most probably by the same people that made the shoe in the first place. When we dismantle a shoe, we'll, we'll usually take it right back to the insole. We'll not only take the sole and the heel off, but we'll take the welt out as well. The welt being the thin strip of leather that's attached to the insole to which the sole is later stitched. Welt sewing is one of the most highly skilled jobs in the factory. If you look at the bottom of a shoe, there isn't a straight line anywhere on the bottom of a shoe. It's all curves. It's an operation that's done just by eye and judgment. We'll then replace the cork that we use to fill the bottom cavity. And cork is the best material to use. It's lightweight, it's heat insulating, it moulds to the shape of your feet, it breathes. Once the sole has been laid, the next operation is rough rounding, which is, which is exactly what the name suggests. It, it roughly trims the shape of the sole to, to the shape of the last, but it also makes the groove in which we're going to do the stitching. Sole stitching is an incredibly important part of the shoemaking process. We use a lock stitch rather than chain stitch. What this means basically is that you can wear the shoes for far longer. You can wear the leather sole right down to the point where the lock is. Well, it's actually two thirds of the way through the thickness of the sole before the sole will come undone. Once the sole's been stitched on, we then have to take the last out of the shoe. This is because we like to attach the heels from the inside. Once the heel's been attached, we trim the edges of the heels and the soles in various stages, usually with a coarse scourer and then a fine one. Having scoured the edges of the heels, the next stage is to trim the edges of the soles. This is a highly skilled operation and the machines that we use, I think, are the fastest revolving machines in the shoe trade. Again, this operation is done purely by eye and judgement and it's incredibly important that that's the right shape. The next stage is to start finishing the edges and we apply a stain by hand. We then apply hot wax and iron it. And after that, there's a further polishing process to make it look really nice. When the edges are finished, we can then turn our attention to the sole of, of the shoe. We scour the bottom of the soles very lightly, just to sort of make a key for, for the sole stain to adhere to. And we apply the stain to the bottom of the shoe, again by hand with a cloth. 
Once the edges and soles have been stained, there's quite a lot of extra handwork that, that we do just to add a bit of detail and character to the way we finish shoes. We like to think of it as a sort of low handwriting. Once the shoes have had their final polish and been given a thorough check over to make sure that everything's been done to the, the correct standard, we then fit the heel socks and the laces and they're boxed up ready for dispatch. We're pleased that the repair service has been so popular right from the start. In an age where many things are regarded as disposable, it shows us not only that there's still a place for traditional craftsmanship, but also that the people who wear our shoes share the same pride in them as the people who made them. Mm -hmm.